Hello, my name's Jonathan and this is the One Motorhome channel. Uh, today I'm going to be demonstrating a lovely little van for you. Uh, this one's called an Autosleeper Nuevo EKES. Uh, it's built on a Peugeot Boxer chassis. It's got 165 brake horsepower, uh, six speed manual gearbox. Uh, it's 2023 model, so there's lots I'm gonna show you. So follow me around and let's have a really good look, shall we? So as usual, we'll start off on the outside of the motorhome uh, work our way around and I'll show you all the little extras we've got on the on the outside then we'll go inside and have a look in there at what we've got new for 2023. Now if you look on the top here obviously this one's got the Luton on the top so that house is a nice double bed. Uh, it sleeps for and travels for. Uh, it's a really compa uh, compact vehicle but I'll give you the dimensions of it when we get inside. Um, as you can see really nice silver cab going into the habitation there with really nice decals actually going all the way along. Um, it does have alloy wheels, so they come as standard with this. And just on the top, just up there, it's got a Chule canopy, so that can be rolled out manually, and obviously that'll protect you from the sun and also protect you from the rain. Um, this is internal storage, um, which I'll show you when we get inside, but obviously you can gain access from the outside and the inside. And then just underneath here, this is the little wet locker. Now this is really convenient. It's got little draining points inside. So you can put all your wet bits and bobs in there, any cables, ramps, basically anything dirty that you don't want to put inside the motorhome. Um, as usual with Auto Sleeper, they come with a lot of extras. So if I can open this up, you've got a three pin plug in there. Just have a look in there for you. So you can plug in your radio and things like that outside. And then this one, whoops, is an external barbecue point. So you can plug in a little Kadek barbecue and that runs straight to your LPG tank, which is under uh, underfloor mounted on this actually. So it's got a 25 litre underfloor mounted LPG tank, which is refillable. Uh, this is where you fill up your fresh water. Um, and as you can see here, we've got two vents, which means we've got a fridge freezer inside, which obviously I'll show you when we get in there. Um, we've got an electric step at the bottom here. And then just above the habitation door, we've got an LED strip light. And just over the top of the door, actually, it's got like a little drainage gutter. And that's so that the water uh, doesn't run onto you as you're coming in and out of the van, which is always uh, how handy. You don't want to shower just as you come out, do you? Now, at the back of the vehicle, we've got these really nice LED lights on both sides. They're really cool, actually. I really finished the van off well. And then if you see these two bars just here, uh, that's so you can easily fit a bike rack. Now, if you have a look at the, the, the position of these bars, they're really low down. So what this means is your bike rack isn't gonna be sort of shoulder height. It's gonna be really low down so you can quite easily put a bike rack on there without struggling. Now, just above, you've got a reversing camera and that's on an LCD screen inside. And let's just move round because obviously it's a little bit noisy out here. So let's try and get round as quickly as we can. Now, just underneath there, that's where you uh, release your, um, your grey water. And then this is where your toilet cassette lives. And this one is where you plug into the campsite. So if you want to plug in, you plug in just here. And also if you want to charge it up at home, you can plug it in there as well. Now, just inside here, you can also pump water into the vehicle so you can suck water out of the container into this. Um, so there's two ways of filling it, both with the filling point at the other side, which we've just gone through, and this one just here as well. Now, inside this one, if I can open it, it's quite tight. There we go. Um, if you can just see in there, it's got a 12 volt point, an aerial connection point, and a satellite connection point as well. Uh, this is for your LPG. So this is where you'd fill up at the petrol station with gas. Um, and like I say, it's got a 25 litre tank on this. Now just below there, if you can have a look at that, you've got your fresh water drainage tap. And then underneath, obviously you've got an exhaust and I can't get any further under there to show you, uh, but you've obviously got your tanks under there as well, fresh water and a wastewater. Just inside, um, that's a little gauge that shows you how much gas you've got on board all the time and we'll show you a bit more about that when we get inside obviously inside this cab area but it's got cruise control cab air con um, all the luxury mod cons 
um, but check this van out look really really nice gorgeous little van really compact and like I say it sleeps for and travels for as well so it's it's perfect really so I'm inside the Nuevo now guys uh, what do you think so far um, leave a comment below or subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos like this uh, but remember do comment and like the video because uh, that's what keeps the channel going and obviously that's how uh, we get the videos out there so people can have a good look at them um, let's have a look at the cab area now shall we right so moving into the cab obviously both the seats swivel, uh, swivel around both the driver's seat and the passenger seat um, and the driver's seat conveniently uh, sits right behind this table uh, so you can spin around eat your dinner, play cards and just relax. And obviously that's joined to the, the two forward facing seats, which I'll show you later on. Um, inside the actual cab, uh, we've got a really nice touchscreen display. This has got a DAB radio, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Um, all you need to do is connect your mobile phone to this via a USB cable, uh, which is actually located just inside the glove box in here. So you've got a little USB, plug your phone into that, and that will link it to the actual main screen, which will give you your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, as you can see, six speed manual gearbox, cruise control, multifunctional steering wheel. Um, and the seats are very comfortable, actually. Obviously, cab air conditioning. Just below that, we've got two cup holders and you've got USB chargers and things like that in here. Also a glove compartment here and also another little compartment on the top where I showed you those cables. Um, both the seats have got armrests on. So they've both got armrests that you can put down and really comfortably sleep. Sorry, not sleep, seat, sit. You can sleep if you like. Um, and then just above here, I'll just have a look up there. At the moment, it's still all in its wrapper, uh, but this is actually a really big double bed uh, just above the cab. You've got LED strip lights, both sides. So you can turn the lights on up here and you've also got a, a skylight up there as well. And then a little bit further back, just here, another LED light. Um, this is quite convenient actually, because when you're in, well, I call it day mode, um, you can actually push this up out the way and it's on gas struts. So what that does is it gives you headroom. So you can stand up, sit down without banging your head. I'll just drop that back down for you. Now, above the... Um, above the bench seats, you've got storage. So inside here, plenty of storage in there. Again, plenty of storage in here. And then just down below, you've got the forward facing traveling seats. Now this area converts into a nice size double bed. So if you can see the rails there, one, two, that table drops down onto the second rail. You've then got an infill cushion that goes across to that. And then just on here, this pulls out and then you can make that into a big double bed. Um, but I'll give you the dimensions of that in a second. Just to give you a better view of this bench seat, obviously really comfortable and there's lots of storage underneath here. Um, at the moment, it's got some infill cushions in there. So if you can have a look in there, we've got some infill cushions. We don't necessarily need to live in there, um, but that's your access from inside. And then obviously when we looked outside, there's also a little hatch where we can obviously gain entrance inside or outside, like we mentioned. You've got these nice LED lights which move along the, tr the tracks, so you can move them wherever you'd like them to be. Uh, so obviously if you're reading one side, then you've got a bit more room. And then inside these cupboards, let's have a look. Loads and loads of storage. Um, you've got a little wine bottle holder and a plate rack, uh, which is nice and convenient. And then just below, we've got a really nice size microwave and that's actually plateless, so that won't rattle around as you're driving. And wait for it, here we go. Auto sleepers trademark, the crystal glasses. <laughs> um, they're in there, and as you're probably aware, auto sleeper have been doing that for a long, long time. Uh, this is your habitation door, and obviously you've got blackout blinds on that. And then moving round, this is the kitchen area. Really nice, actually. Um, as I mentioned, I'll give you the dimension of this van shortly, uh, but for a small van, you've got a lot in it. You've got a bit of extra work surface here, obviously fridge freezer uh, beneath that, uh, which I'll show you in a second. And then just to the left, you've got drawer underneath, really nice size wardrobe for hanging all your clothes. And then we've got the toilet and shower in this one. Now in the kitchen area, you've got a really nice size oven so really, 
well actually you could fit a chicken in there and have a nice sunday roast and of course you've got a grill and then up top you've got three gas burners and an electric hot plate now people like these hot plates because when you're on a, a campsite you don't necessarily have to use your gas you can use their electricity um, inside here this is obviously your sink it comes with a draining rack and also inside there i'm not going to open it up but that also is a little draining rack which sits on there where you can put your plates and bowls and things like that um, they have everything in these auto sleepers really they do um, now this is a uh, kitchen roll holder you've got three pin plugs two just here bit of storage up inside there and then inside here that is your wi-fi system so this has got 4G Wi-Fi aerial on the roof. Uh, it's also got a digital TV aerial and solar panel. Um, but look at all this storage. Let's look, have a look in the bathroom, shall we? So this is your toilet and shower room. Obviously you've got an electric flush toilet, sink for washing up or, sorry, washing up. You can wash up in there, I suppose. Um, but for washing your face, doing your teeth and things like that. And then just above that, obviously you've got the shower rail, uh, just to the right of the shower rail, just up there, that is a clothes rail, so you can dry your clothes in here. That links onto the other side, just up there onto those hooks, just here. Um, and it's about five or six lines going across the room, and you can hang your towels, your swimwear, and get them all dried out in here, because obviously you can blast hot air into this room as well. Bit of storage space in the cupboard here. And also you've got storage in these ones, which can't open with one hand, so I do apologize, but you can keep your shower gel and things like that in there. Uh, one of the really good things about this bathroom, um, which I think is really cool, uh, you can pull this across, and then to the right hand side there, there's also a, a, a glass door which pulls across as well. So you can have a separate shower in there, uh, which I think is awesome. I'll just pop that back. And then of course, you've got a towel rail holder. Uh, you've also got somewhere to put your toothbrush and a nice mirror for getting ready actually. So what do you think so far? Uh, really nice, isn't it? Um, absolutely fantastic actually. Um, one of the big differences on the 2023 model van is it does actually come with a, a TV and a sound bar. Uh, it's a Wi-Fi TV so that can connect up to your Wi-Fi aerial. Um, and of course, if you're working away from home and things like that, you can connect your laptop, your mobile phone to that Wi-Fi aerial so you can do a lot of work from home um, and really live that sort of van life. Um, just to give you a few of the dimensions, uh, the overall length of this vehicle is seven, sorry, five, seven, five, two. So just over 5.7 meters. So really nice and compact. And with the mirrors folded in, uh, it's around 2.3 meters in width. Uh, the internal height is just under two metres. Um, it's a 3,500 kilogram with its, you know, its full payload. Uh, so you can drive this on a standard car licence and it's actually got a 626 kilogram payload. So lots and lots of payload. You can get lots of stuff in here. In fact, I think it would be a job to fill it. Um, it's got a fresh water tank and also a wastewater tank sorry that was my phone just ringing there i do apologize uh, the fresh water tank's 102 liters the wastewater tank 71 liters now the front double bed is actually over two meters um so really tall person can sleep in here no problem at all so 2.1 meters and then the bed over the cab is absolutely gigantic i haven't got the exact measurements for that but it's a perfect size for two people for sleeping so just to sum things up on this Auto Sleeper Nuevo EKES, uh, four berth, four traveling seat belts, less than six meters long, really nice and compact, uh, TV aerial, Wi-Fi aerial, uh, solar panel, reversing camera, external barbecue point, refillable gas point. Uh, the list goes on and on with this fan. It's perfect. It's really nice for a small family or even a solo traveler who likes to have a nice dining area with a bed that's completely separate. Hopefully you like this demonstration guys. This is the One Motorhome channel, uh, the channel where we try and find you the perfect motorhome. Uh, my face is probably going to pop up around here. Um, if you click that you can subscribe to the channel and obviously get updates on all the videos that we're posting. 
uh, which are quite regular actually. So you get lots and lots of designs, lots of layouts, and hopefully we'll find the perfect van for you. Uh, also do put a comment below. Tell me what you think about the van. What van have you got? And what I really like is when you click the like button um, and that really gets things moving with the videos. And obviously uh, that will get this out to a really big audience um, and everyone will get to experience uh, the demonstration and hopefully we'll help them find a moto. Um, we've got another van coming up soon. Thanks for watching guys. Take care and I'll see you.